Hi guys, welcome to Destin Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh, and today we are going to learn about how to create users, manage, and assign role to users. In this session, we are going to discussing about how to create a new user, configure user, creating new roles, and assigning to the user to the roles, and controlling the user access and a project. This five session we are going to discussing here. Then we'll start now how to create a new user. Okay. Once you run for up and running your Jenkins, just you can go to here dashboard and there is a Jenkins space. And we can able to see there is a manage users. And here there is a two users it is presented. And now I'm deleting these two first. Okay. Now there is a create icon. Okay, in this create icon, just I'm going to do for user creation. User one, and I'm going to use one. And in first email ID, one is created, and second one I'm going to create. And we are going to check for two users. For that, I'm going to use it. two users now. Okay. Now we have two different users now. Okay. And we'll see for whether this particular user one and user two is working or not. And we can able to use it for first user one will try now we can able to see and now we can able to see there is a way like all what all the things admin can able to see this all the things you can able to see correct now we want to configure we create user and we need to do for configure users configure users means just we need to go for here configure users and here we can able to change username and we can able to provide user uh, description and we can able to create api token and this will we'll learn about uh, later videos and we can able to create some credentials here and we can able to provide email address and we need to watching like if you are adding some configurations here uh, whenever new updates are coming that we can able to get it by using that mail okay default notification and public and passcode is the one and you can able to get it here it's all the things we can able to do it for user configuration and now i'm going to moving my dashboard and log out this one because i need to log in into as an admin okay okay now we create a right then another option is we need to do for role based we need to provide because without providing role base then everybody can able to see your entire structure of the process right and they can able to misuse and they can able to delete to do that we can able to provide some role for that we need to enable first role based strategy for that we need to go for Jenkins manage and here there is an option for config global security then we need to authorization and here role based and once you done here and apply save once you save and you can down press you can able to see there is a role manage and assign roles and we need to go for inside it and we can able to do there is a two thing uh, like after enabling also if you are not seeing that particular icon enabling roles that purpose you have to go for managing these plugins and available plugins you have to search for role based strategy or uh, in my case i already done for installation here you can able to search immediately you can able to role based authorization strategy this one we need to install and we need to download or else you can able to go for available plugins or you can able to go for google 
search this name and Google and if you search this one and you can able to starting place only Jenkins plugins you can able to see and here you can able to release place you can able to go and you can able to download which is the latest one presented that particular one you can able to download and once you download it come back to Jenkins there is an advanced key and here that down there is a deploy plugin and you have to choose that particular plugin okay that is basically it will be HPI extension okay once you copy and you can add it and then deploy once you deploy this plugin will be available okay this is a pattern you can able to provide once you are done and you can able to see that particular role based one okay managing and assigning the roles once you done that one you can able to come to back and manage roles and we'll see some options here now and we can able to create a role which role we need to provide now i'm going to use for employees and name i'm adding here and i'm going to create the delete these three and the last i'm going to provide create delete a read these operations okay now I created role. Then I need to create for pattern. What pattern you means like now I have four users, two users testing department, two users development department. They want to access their projects only related to testing. And I can able to as in once the role, then we need to do that, right? Now I'm going to use developer okay now here i'm going to use for dev dot star it means what will happen if you provide like dev dot star what will happen any project start with the dev that project is goes to developer project okay and if you are going to use for tester and i use for test dot star means all testing related projects means testing members need to be assigned into that particular user now i'm going to select it for all things for this both the roles okay now present just i'm going to use for fasting purpose the few things selecting okay no roles and all we'll uh, learn about later okay no no roles and what pattern we need to provide for node and all we'll see later videos now save now save right now we need to as any means now we done for that particular roles creation and we need to as in for the roles okay for here employee how we provided into manage roles that is a name same name we need to provide there okay as in roles and here i'm going to use here Uh, I must use it. User one. User two. And I'm going to use for user one developer, user two as a tester. Okay. There is white space is there that's why it is showing some okay there is no white space now and we just i'm going to do for apply 
and save now we assign user one as a developer and user two as a tester right now we are going to dashboard i have created already developer demo and tester demo now we can able to log out here user one and we can able to see what project we can able to do. Okay. User two. Is also missing something. Now I'm going to use for admin. We done for roles assigning and all right. Okay. Manage Jenkins and the roles okay user 1 user 2 user 1 and user 2 both are employees and developers and testers uh, we need to use for not this one uh, don't check mark this one okay because we need to add user which is the role we are created right that one sorry uh, mistakenly added for employee and we can able to use user 1 and user 2 due to that only it is showing some permissions now save logout user 1 now we can able to see our user 1 is developer access right for him he got for developer related project and if you are going to user 2 it is basically tester projects he is a tester for this he can able to add it why well, he is not good for okay We'll see one more time. Okay. Is it having some issue? Uh, Manage Jenkins. As in rules. Use it to both are employees only. And use it to test her. Okay, test is there. Do you have to do this? Uh, edit. Some rows missing also. Sometimes it will not happen properly. But everything we done proper. Nothing wrong. still is not able to see some testing related project but developer visa right test one user one we got the proper information see if you are using properly some 
users then you can able to get it for like this testers and all otherwise you will not see that proper assignment if you are not done properly then you will not see the projects related rules okay i hope you understand these rules and all managing and assigning the rules if you like this video please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you